you know, losing my job. It's been a pretty tough couple weeks. And we finally got to the ATM. Yo, these past couple weeks have just been so tough. Cause living like this, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not it. Uh, I don't wanna go. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Yo, I just realized, I forgot to tell you guys. So I did change up the setup. As you can see, that there used to be in this corner. The reason I moved everything around is because for some reason, I know why, my desk here was drawing way too much power from these outlets. So apparently these outlets here are connected to pretty much all of these utilities. So whenever I did play my PC, not even play video games. Like literally sometimes I'll just turn it on and watch YouTube. 10, 20 minutes later, like the entire power just shuts off. And I looked up online that it's called power trips. I found out that power trips happen whenever your utilities are drawing too much power from outlets. So I had to move the desk over here. Now, you know, whenever I have the camera set up, I can use the window lighting a bit better. Also, it has a nice little view of the PC. It looks nice, you know, to me, I think it's a nice change and you can still see, you know, that in the back. Not only can I put it there, but I can also put it here on my tripod. Hey, look at this, it's a nice space. And like, I just feel like, I don't know, my apartment turns into a whole set now, so. Today has been a pretty hard, long day, so I've been working on a video. By the time you're watching this, it's already out. Uh, it's called, what am I call it? I think I'm gonna call it Ex Exploring Downtown Miami. So that took me literally hours and hours and hours to record. Miami is hot as hell, holy shit. While I was recording, uh, yo, I got an email, not an email. I got a text from AT&T and apparently I paid my phone bill. You're probably wondering, Ty, why is that even an issue? That shouldn't be a problem. I only had a certain amount of money for the rent because if you're new to the channel, you don't know the situation that's going on. Right now, currently, I am unemployed, not intentionally. I did get fired, and with that, I've been trying to budget, you know, food, everything. I've been trying to just save it every dime I could. So I was out recording videos, doing my thing, getting B-roll, you know, just having a good time. And all of a sudden, I see a message, zzz, you just paid $108 at and Yo, I literally only had enough for rent. What the f- 108? Oh, that ruined my day, bro. For the rest of the day, bro, I was really just sick and hurt. Of course, I still got the video done, but man, it's like, I just cannot catch a break. I'm tired. I've been working so fucking hard. Get my equity back. Give me something back. Like I've put in so much, like can I get something? I need to go to Brickle and put money in my ATM because we do need to have rent paid because rent is actually due tomorrow. So another funny thing, I get no payments for three, two weeks straight. I'm good. I got the 2150. It's in my bank account. Literally the day before rent is due, the fucking phone bill. How did I forget the phone bill? <laughs> and why is the phone bill due literally one day before rent is due? It's like, uh, it's like, bro, it's like, I really feel like somebody's against me. Like they be working, I don't know, they be working their magic to really fuck people over. Cause this is, this is, does not make sense. This is no coincidence. Like one day before, really? So I got a bunch of cash here. Um, this is embarrassing. So I'm gonna put all of this cash in the ATM. Like, can I just catch a break, man? I've been working for two years straight. Back to, oh shit, am I gonna go homeless again? Like, oh, I'm tired of like, can we just, I'm tired of second guessing and waking up confused. Like I just wanna wake up and no, bills are good, everything's good. Richo, cause living like this, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not it. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys later tonight. Um, all right, see you in a second. All right, right now I'm on the way to downtown. I hate walking downtown later at night just because that's when all the crazies come out, bro. It's getting around that time, so I know in a little bit, bro, the crazies are gonna come out start harassing me from my camera. So it has been hurricane season recently. It has stopped raining recently, so I am able to go out in the city a bit more. You guys probably have seen it on the channel. Hopefully it's not too late, because I do close it around eight. It's 6.57, so I don't know how long the walk is, but I'll catch you guys when I get there. Actually, quick change of plans. Jerry forgot his wallet, so I have to go back home now to go get it. For the past couple weeks, I've literally been like starving myself just because I didn't want to spend too much money. You know, I put myself in this situation. You know, if I never would have did the things I did, I would have never got fired. I never would have been here. So I'm not really blaming anybody but myself. I don't know what time the ATM closes. I don't know if it closes at eight or if it's all night, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm gonna get home. Um, I'm probably gonna wait for, I'm probably gonna wait for Jerry to get back home. And then we're gonna go back out and um, go to the ATM. Jerry's wallet. Now, I don't know if he wants me to bring it back to him or just wait till he gets here. So, maybe actually text him and see. He literally just said, Go get my wallet. So, I don't know if he's gonna come back. I asked him if he's coming back. So, 
We will see. We have to go to the ATM tonight because rent is due tomorrow morning. For some reason, he takes a long time to text back sometimes. So I'm going to have to catch you guys in like 10 minutes to maybe an hour. Who knows? But I will be back. I promise. Peace. Jerry just takes me back. Look at this. It's dark outside. So like I'm about to get harassed, all type of shit. Let me go though because we do have to get this done today. Uh, I don't want to go. I oh, almost forgot the wallet. All right. Close that is actually crazy. So apparently the ATM is closed. But I literally said before I got here, I literally said something's gonna go wrong. And I literally every time it could never go right. Apparently the ATM that we went to was closed. It closes at five o'clock, so you know, I guess we gotta go to Brooklyn now, which is on the other side of town, so we gotta walk all the way over there. Yo, at this point I've been outside pretty much all day. I'm tired, I just wanna go home, but like I said, we have to get this shit done tonight or we can get tagged, so we gotta go all the way back on the other side of town. Um, do I explain what happened? I just came there for no fucking reason. It really feels like I'm homeless again. Just out. In the streets, late night, for no reason, just, I don't know, I have no reason to be out here. Last night was a pretty big disaster. When we finally got to the ATM, I realized I forgot my car. Usually, I keep it in my phone case because um, my wallet actually got stolen also. You know, Miami has been a very... I don't know what the fuck's been going on, but usually I, I keep it in here, but for some reason I took it out. I don't know why. And I lost my ID. I don't even know where my ID. I don't know. I think I threw it away by accident because, you know, when I had my job interview, I took my ID with me and I think I put it in the bag and I threw it away. I don't know. So that's a, that's new, a new dilemma, dilemma that I'm going through. I still do have to go to the ATM and put money in the bank. Luckily, so rent was due this morning. Luckily, Jerry sent enough money to where... We could pay rent, so I don't have to worry about that. Honestly, I'm not gonna rush to the ATM just because I have so many things I have to do. Today is upload day, it's Saturday. I actually stayed up pretty late last night to like one o'clock just to edit. I don't wanna wait too long because I try to get my videos out around two o'clock and it is 10.30 currently. The plan for today is, you know, I have to finish editing. Um, I still have to go to the ATM and do that. After that, I think I'm gonna go to Brooklyn and just you know, relax, talk about what's been going on with my day today. That was stupid. You know, I think I've really learned how to just accept life for what it is, which is so mentally relieving. There used to be times where I used to have breakdowns just because I couldn't take the stress of life. And now here I am, you know, back to ground zero, but I'm good, you know? At this point in life, I feel like I can get through anything. Like I've been through so much already that nothing phases me. All right, we got our daily dose of the Miami love, piece of the city, but I do have to get some work done. So let me go back inside. This is funny, bro. They're having a whole feud in the comment section. They're literally arguing about why I live where I live. But oh, I want to live here because it pushes... This guy, got, he gets it. Sometimes you have to force yourself to live in a tough situation to do better. See, bro, he gets it. I'm not going to keep explaining why I want to live in downtown. Bro, I don't want to live in a rinky-dink. I just... What's wrong with that? I don't get it. Hey, bro, look outside, bro. Are you serious? Like, don't you, doesn't that not motivate you? Yes, it's expensive, but like... Come on. Welcome back. It's been a couple hours. As you can see, I changed my whole fit. I'm rocking the blue pajamas. You know, I don't know why I got a jacket on. I'm a little tired. Uh, it's 3.56 right now. I just got done editing and putting my video up. I don't know how I've been so consistent lately. I've been seeing you guys coming. Yo, you're being so consistent. Keep up the consistency. I don't know how I'm doing that. It is pretty hot outside, so I don't know if I want to wait till a little bit later because 
It is humid as hell. I know I got a jacket on, but still. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just go now. You know, I know if I, I know if I wait till later, I'm not gonna want to go at all. So let's just go ahead and get ready. Just go out, get it done. So I can come back and relax. So right now I'm on the way to the ATM. I'm trying to get outside the city more and just show you guys around. And I felt like before I wasn't showing the city as much as I should. I'm gonna definitely, you know, have more videos of me just out in the city and just exploring. And it is still hot as shit outside. Oh my god. I've been saying throughout the video, yo, these past couple weeks have just been so tough. I want to say thank you for anybody that's been supporting this journey. I can kind of expect, you know, to get 200 to like 500 views. And, you know, when I first started this channel, numbers like 500, 1,000, 20,000 seemed like a fantasy to me. And the fact that I've gotten those kind of views and like I'm um, consistently seeing it, I really try not to let it get to my head because... <laughs> loud as Metro, bro. Come on. The wise man once said, study the grace and then do better. So of course, I try to make sure that I watch bigger creators and see their downfalls and make sure I don't make the similar issues. One of the biggest reasons I see creators fail is because they let the views, the numbers, all of that, the clout get to their head. So I've made a conscious effort to, you know, make sure I don't, oh, there's the train. It's loud too. I've made a conscious effort to make sure I don't let the numbers and the fame ever get to my head, you know. You know, the numbers I'm getting now at one point was a dream to me, you know, getting 200 views. Bro, I started off getting like five views, bro, five. Five views, two of them was my friends and family. Like, it was bad. And the fact that I'm getting 200, 500, 1,000, 20,000 views is crazy. Like, I can't believe that's even happened. Like, yo, I'm about to hit 2,000 subscribers, bro. 2,000. Cause that in the bushes. Oh, hell no. Do I need to get the fuck out? That's bird shit. Okay. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video. For me, I'm out. Peace.